Matt Gates is once again doing this unhinged, hypocritical sort of thing, very dishonest thing, as we've already sort of alluded to in today's show, of using lies about Trump's indictments, his legal troubles, this time in reference to the most recent uh, federal indictment on charges related to his attempts to unlawfully keep himself president, despite losing, using the lies about that, the narrative that Trump's this big victim and is being wrongly targeted, which we've gone through why that's not the case many times, to justify calling for the weaponization, the uh, political persecution or targeting of the political opponents now, I guess, or the enemies of Trump within the position that Matt Gates has as a congressman. And so what he's suggesting is, and remember as we watch this clip, we've been hearing and we've been covering these hearings about this, that the Biden DOJ and the Biden federal government has been weaponized. The weaponization of the government by the far left, Marxist, communist, fascist Biden. And uh, that's what they've been talking about a lot, right? Now, Matt Gates is overtly broadcasting the fact that he wants Congress to weaponize itself to protect Trump and target those that Trump is being held accountable by. Um, take a look at this. Truly absurd. Carl, I want to discuss that. First, yep. House Republicans should immediately demand that Jack Smith present himself for a transcribed interview before the Judiciary Committee in the next 15 days. If he does not do that, we should send a subpoena. If he ignores the subpoena, we should hold him in criminal contempt of the Congress so that he is the first prosecutor in American history to be prosecuting a case while himself under criminal contempt. And if Merrick Garland doesn't enforce that criminal contempt, then we ought to impeach Merrick Garland. And by the way, while we're doing all of that, to showcase how political and indeed dirty this has all become, we can utilize- He had something in his coffee this morning. Congressional immunities to immunize President mm -hmm. Trump. 18 USC 6002 subpart three gives any committee or subcommittee of the Congress the ability to subpoena a witness, bring them in and functionally immunize them. And if we are not going to stand up for Congress's equities when it comes to election interference, when it comes to misuse of the DOJ, this is all an effort to try to distract us from the very real crimes committed by Hunter and Joe Biden. It's we, oh my goodness, we just covered James Comer, who's leading the investigation into Biden, trying to prove all these different things, saying, quote, I sure hope so, to a question from Sean Hannity asking, will you be able to prove these things about Biden? So if the guy leading the investigation says, I hope I'll be able to prove these things, then how is it fair for you to say, apparently you think they've already been proved? That doesn't make any sense. Clearly, the evidence hasn't yet been uncovered. You just have a whole lot of narratives, a whole lot of stories you're telling about Biden. And time and time again, at every turn, the story falls apart further. And then again, a guy who's within the party who is currently screaming about the federal government being weaponized based on all these things that just don't make any sense and we've gone through them individually and no trump's not being political politically persecuted and no biden's not trying to protect people of his political persuasion and it's just not based in fact but then when it comes time for one of the people on your political side to be subjected to the justice system as he should be. He's going to get his due process, but yes, he's having to deal with the fact that he seems to have committed crimes. There's evidence for potential crimes he committed, and thus he's going to be prosecuted for it. And you want to, Matt Gates and other Republicans, step in the middle of that, try to set up a situation where you could prosecute Jack Smith while Jack Smith is prosecuting Trump is ridiculous. And people take that seriously. Now, Quickly, another moment here. This is from Eric Trump on Jesse Waters' show, putting out this talking point. What they did to him over Russia. I mean, how about Obama literally weaponizing the IRS against all conservatives? This is what, what they do. And this is what my father, more so than any person in American history, has shown the American people. He's literally exposed these frauds for exactly who they are. And it's sad. We're no better than some of these third world countries around the world. You know, we are literally trying because I'm proud to be an American trying to imprison political opponents. We're better than this. 
And yeah, so my father's going to fight. When and you, he's, a, he's a great fighter, Jesse. You know that better oh, than anybody. Oh, I do. When you so, Eric Trump, okay, quote, we are literally trying to imprison political opponents. We're better than this. He's saying, because of the radical left, the communist Biden regime, <laughs> um, we're in a country where that side is wanting to, is lusting over the idea of locking up their political opponents. Well, Tucker Carlson once said something similar about how the left wants to lock up their political opponents. And I put together this little compilation to remind us about which side is often saying the phrase lock them up to want in a sane society in a sane society you let elections determine who has political power you don't fantasize about your political opponents going to jail lock them all up seen too many Biden rallies where they're chanting lock him up about Donald Trump but the hypocrisy the dishonesty it doesn't matter it's not about a coherent principled argument it's oh no Trump might actually be held accountable and he's our guy and so on the part of the media leaders the political leaders we just need you to give us something and and by we, I mean the followers of those people just want to be given something to make them feel good, continuing to support the person that they want to support for whatever reason. Clearly, they're bought into Trump in a cult like way. And so at least just give us something we can nod along to. And that's enough, because if you dove in a few layers deep, a lot of these things just aren't aligned with the facts or on their face are pretty contradictory or hypocritical. And uh, again, apparently for a lot of people, that doesn't matter. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership, and there's a link in the description.